Hey guys, it's Simmerkey, but you can call me Stephanie. And this, well, this is my life. Sort of. It's actually a weird alternate reality of how things could be. Now, what part is real and what part is made up? Mm, we're just not going to worry about that part. <laughs> Meet my nephew, Gage. Now, this little guy is pretty awesome. Here we are playing together, just having a good old time, not a care in the world. And this is my niece, Cora. She is a little princess. Just ask her. She'll tell you. She loves cats, just like her aunt. Now, they're both toddlers, although they are a few years apart in age, and I love them very much. I've never wanted kids of my own. I still don't, but I enjoy spending time with them whenever I can. The great thing is, when we're done having fun, I get to leave and go home, and I let their parents worry about the rest. Which brings me to my sister, Eleni. She's the one with the blue hair. We're also a few years apart in age, and we have a wonderful relationship. Oh, and that guy with the green mohawk? Yeah, that's her husband, Dave. And we're all just enjoying a normal family dinner together at their apartment. Oh, and I can't forget my dad, George. He is your typical crazy Greek dad, but he means well and loves his family very much. It looks like the kids are starting to get all riled up, but it is their bedtime pretty soon. And that's not my problem, remember? So yeah, this is our happy little family. Toddler messes and all, and I wouldn't change a thing. But on this particular night, something horrible happened. Something no one expected. But that's how life goes sometimes, right? A fire started out of nowhere. At first, it seemed small. Dave quickly ran to grab the fire extinguisher. I grabbed Cora and ran. You see this face? Remember this face. This is the face of terror. I was terrified. I got safely outside, and my sister Lenny soon followed with my nephew and my dad. As they were running outside, Dave assured them that this is a small flame and he would have it extinguished in no time, not to worry. But just when he thought it was safe, another fire erupted and started to consume him. The flames were so big, we could see them from outside. We heard the fire trucks in the distance, but they were still pretty far. Eleni ran back in despite me crying for her to stay with us outside. She had to go back and try to rescue her hubby. She couldn't bear to live without him. And now, she won't have to. We lost them both that day. And the kids are too young to understand exactly what happened. Trying to explain that mommy and daddy are in heaven, and that they have to live with grandpa and me now? Well... It's just too much for them to comprehend. Can you blame them, though? They're just babies. That doesn't stop me from trying to make it all make sense for them and bring them back to some sort of normalcy. Of course, I never want them to forget their parents and that they love them very much, so I'm going to always talk about them. Cora just cries for her mom while Gage tries to keep to himself. I think he's keeping busy just to keep from breaking down. My heart breaks for them both. They're confused by their feelings and starting to act out. They're just so frustrated and can't express themselves. I am still trying to cope. I'll admit it, it's a lot to handle. A lot. Luckily, my dad's here to help. So that brings us to today. The day I adopted my niece and nephew. The day I became a mom. What can I say? I love these little guys. But honestly... I'm having a hard time trying to keep from breaking down myself. Remember this face? I'm still terrified. But I'm going to do my best to raise them as my own. This is my life now. Welcome to parenthood.